welcome, welcome, welcome. Yo, I know what's going on a while ago. But some madness going on. Welcome to another episode of Creative Always D. This episode is called Creative Always D Creating Pins. Kareem Liko, a master of making pins. He also make it he also makes ma- um, marketing easy and teach young entrepreneurs how to be, be successful in business. While the world seems to be focused on Instagram, he's paving the way on Pinterest and showing his patrons how to improve their pins and reach more people. Wagwan Karim, Wagwan brother, Wagwan. Welcome, welcome to the show. Yeah, yeah. thanks, Shango. Uh, thank you so much, man. Uh, yeah, it's man, really welcome. good to know you here. Yeah. So, as usual, me, me, <coughs> me always I try to bring on people on the show where one them I do something, I would I call it different, or they, them, them, I would I consider them probably at the top of them game in a, in a them industry, or what am I do and when I look on your quality of work where you do on Pinterest and the, the, the level of work where you are doing, you know, even how you do your marketing and stuff like that, me I say, yo, I had to get, um, um, carry him on the show and kind of make him showcase it because the thing is that a lot of people on social media they are not even aware of pins. Mean that they, are, they, they right. know what a pin is now, but they don't even know, understand it. So you are the man who have been studying it for a minute now, and you are the man who basically understand pins and Pinterest. And what we want you to basically do is firstly tell me how you got started into using Pinterest and basically becoming this master of pins and also explain what a pin is and how you use a pin to basically drive traffic to your pages or drive traffic to your website just kind of give them a brief uh, uh, ki- explain to them what i'm going with pins yeah so i was a photographer first right so i mean as a beginner photographer you know the first thing you're going to want to do is get inspiration right learn from some of the better people in you know the, the crowd and the best place to you know find photos at the time was not so much even instagram but pinterest right so me double around pinterest and learn you know the whole ropes getting the inspiration and then one man said start one photography blog and run the blog for a few months and realize uh, we could have used Pinterest to drive traffic from there to that blog and get readers and so forth. And I was like, this thing of potential. So let's start, you know, see what else could be possible. We do look at affiliate marketing. Really, you know, run some other tests, build my own online store in Etsy and so forth. And we realized that Pinterest was like the place for small businesses and, you know, entrepreneurs on a whole. So jump over to Instagram now, fast forward four years later. And I realized that a lot of budding entrepreneurs, a lot of the ones that are coming up, especially those who want to, you know, be seen on the internet. Them always are trying to blow it up on Instagram and that is so difficult when you could have just used Pinterest, build up your account in a no time and just use that to drive traffic straight from Pinterest to whichever website. So you could have a YouTube channel, you could have your Instagram page if you want to get Instagram famous. You could have your website, your blog. The possibilities are endless, right? Um, so, if you, if you explain that, like, explain how you go about using a pin to drive traffic to these things. We know that we don't have no way for you kind of show it right now, um, but explain it in such a way that a layman could understand how you basically use Pinterest to drive traffic to basically your website or Instagram or wherever. Right, so... The way Pinterest works is 
picture it like Google, right? You want something, whatever the, the case may be, right? Let's say you want a shoes. You jump on Pinterest instead of Google and you type in shoes, right? And a lot of stuff pop up. So it's basically a search engine. Now, the way Pinterest works is while you, the customer, is there looking for shoes and looking for wedding dresses or whatever the item is, you as the business or me as the business is the person who is putting them out there and you use what we call pins to do that. So how pins work is really just an image that you post and attached to that image is the link to your website. So for okay, lack so of a better word, your website URL, right? So once you attach the link to the pin, then when somebody sees it and they click on it, it takes them straight to wherever you want them to go. So when I hear from you basically is that one, Pinterest is like almost similar to like where you'd go on Google and just search for something, search engine. And when you search for something and whatever it finds, basically it can have an, a link attached to it for basically sending you anywhere the person who attach the link to it. Basically, you know what I mean? That location is where you're, 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 you're once you find a picture, the picture leads you yeah. to that location. So when we exactly. hear from you basically, you know, with Pinterest, you know, is that if me want to get my Instagram booming and me I put out probably the latest fashion or the latest um, shoes or the latest things and people are searching for these things and them are find my stuff, whether them search through Google or them search Pinterest and them find my image, once them click on it, I can direct them to a location where them can either buy the shoes or them can buy the dress or whatever the case may be. Drive to exactly. the location. Mad, and mad. It's, it's not just it's not just a case where you know you can send them to Instagram and make them follow you. As I said rightly, you can actually send them to the location for them to make a purchase. In mm. fact, Pinterest actually have a system set up where you can almost shop inside of Pinterest. So you have a product I sell like a shoes, right? You list it on a store like mm -hmm. Etsy or whatever, and you put the pin there, when you put the pin there, or even your own website, if you, you don't want to use like an external, you know, e-commerce platform, you put the pin there, and once the pin is there, and you know, you have the link attached, all that traffic for every single person who sees that pin, right? They can literally just click on it, don't have to come out of the Pinterest app itself and just buy whatever it is they're buying from right inside Pinterest. Wow, wow. So, in other words, when I hear from you, we come from more the Instagram side of things. It's just like what them have IG shops where you can just click on one something and you see the pricing and all them stuff there and you click on it, you basically move right. the payment app and from the payment app, you pay for it and then it's sent to you, whether it be from a shipping company or whatever the case may be. So yes, the Pinterest have that integrated in it. Just like Instagram. Wow. Pinterest the main thing. difference, right? <laughs> the main difference with Pinterest and Instagram is whereas Instagram requires, and I'm using the word requires loosely now, it wants you to have a bag of followers or a high number of followers in order to achieve certain metrics and you know sales and stuff in turn well visibility is limited to the number of followers you have right and the number of traction you're getting per post right with pinterest visibility is limited to whoever is searching for your post well on, well on, well on, so well on, well on, well on, well on. say that again Explain it so, so, so a, lay, a layman. I know you explain it simple, but maybe I need to paraphrase it. So, what I'm right. going to say is, so, you know, if you have 10,000 followers on Instagram, 
or upon Pinterest to have people a find your stuff. Or exactly. You basically, a pop up in front of people's face. You can have one. You don't camera, even need one. You don't even need one. So you don't even need one. It it. Wow, 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 wow. When when we are here from you, basically, um, Kareem is that, um, oh Pinterest algorithm, if you can call it the algorithm, all the website of an algorithm works is once mm-hmm. people search for things and you basically create a pin where have some farmer may we talk about that first may we talk about that how do one create pins so it's searchable so explain that well part. how do you, you create a pin the, now as the pin master the person will basically you know teach people about pin and stuff like that from patreon and them things there explain how do one create pins so when a person search them can find your pins and get lead to a um, website, Instagram, whatever the case may be. Explain that aspect. All right. So the first thing you need to do is understand that whereas with Instagram you have, and me like compare Pinterest with Instagram because most people understand Instagram. Yeah, and Twitter so, my photo stuff too. Exactly. So where Instagram have. You know, you have to have your content, you have to have your hashtags, and then you have to focus on engagement and stuff, right? Pinterest is more centered around two things, right? Now, thing number one is the design of the pin itself. Because if the pin don't look good, if it don't grab somebody's attention, then they're just going to scroll past it. So you have to have a pin that really grabs my attention. You scholars will pop, where literally make me just stop and look on this and say, wait, let me see where this actually carry me go, right? And then after you have that pin design aspect, solid, the next thing is to focus on the element of SEO or keywords and you know keyword optimization where you need to understand what it is that your customers are searching for, how they're searching for it, and you set up your profile, your pin description, your boards, your board description, and all of that in such a way where once they type in, how do I get YouTube videos seen more, or how do I buy the shoes, or how do I find whatever it is that they search for, you already prepared to give them the answer. So that's really what SEO is, right? Setting up the account in such a way that no matter what they type in, as long as it's related to what you offer, you have an answer to that question. And once you have those two things locked, then the possibilities are really endless because it's just consistency to keep you know, the algorithm showing your stuff to others. And the good thing about it too is unlike Instagram where you post something and maybe about a couple of days later, you know, it basically done. When you make a pin on Pinterest, the shortest it live for is about three and a half months. So when I pin something today, I can get traffic this month, I can get traffic next month, and I can get traffic the other month before the pin, you know, start to die. And if I'm getting traffic, then I could even traffic from that one pin even into next year. So I, when we try as to um, 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 Kareem is that we actually I try to bring Pinterest in here. Because I realize that sometimes when you try to explain things to people, you, n- you need the context. So what I going to do, I'm going to bring it in, make you small, and make Pinterest big so the people them can see what Pinterest is and kind of get a sense of how, how it works in a, in, a, in a sense. So I hit my day at work for to make sure so you can get it on the screen. Um, so that's something I should have done before, but you know what I mean? Well, I try to set up still. Yeah. So, Pinterest, when I hear from you basically, you know, is that Pinterest is kind of a, a, a system where once you understand it and understand, as I said, the SEO and what um 
what you're supposed to write in your pins and what pro in other words when I hear from you um um, Ker um Karim, as, as a marketer you have to understand your avatar so who, who you want to read so to speak you have to understand who that is and from you understand who that is then you can say oh all right then so these people are searching for that these people are searching for that and then once you type these things in a description of your 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 um pin pinterest and a hole yes once you type type that in, a, in a your pins pinterest now basically i look for these things because when me sign up a pinterest i put design logo design illustration gadgets computer and some other stuff and when me go up on pinterest come and just jump on on pinterest um, if you look on my my screen in a, in, a, in, a, in a zoom, you'll see that when we switch the screen, you smile at a show my Pinterest now. So we're inside a Pinterest, so we are sure the people them what Pinterest is. So this is me going through my yes. Pinterest, and you see some different part. If I click on this, it basically I show you a desktop. So this I wanted somebody pin this, and because me put this in a my description, it basically a showcase um the pin everybody who would have pinned something so like that this man in right dual screen desktop setup so once you search for dual screen desktop setup um cream theme thing naturally will come up right exactly okay so want to explain it so the people them can get a sense of how this thing really really operates so a one can really understand say oh a person one so to speak monetize a pin because Everything where the people might try to do on social media right now, they might try to monetize it. So, how do one monetize a pin? All right. So, the first thing that I want to let people know is you cannot monetize a pin. And if you're thinking like that, then it's going to be too stressful. And, you know, we're not even going to get into that. So, what you can do is focus on monetizing the traffic right so build a fishnet as i call it have some form of product or service or system that makes you money or that can make you money right so if you're building a digital product or if you have a jewelry store or whatever the case may be have it first and then you jump to Pinterest because all you're going to use Pinterest to do as a business person is to get more eyes on it. Show persons that I am here, you want this, and I am providing it. Right? So, let's say you own a jewelry store in a Jamaica. You want to sell to international people. Right? You just create your Pinterest account and... You know, you take photos of your, your different jewelry and stuff that you have, post them on Pinterest, have a link to your website or wherever persons can actually go to buy these jewelry online and have it shipped to them, right? And then just keep posting. So okay. when somebody search you now, let's say Jamaican jewelry or Jamaican souvenir or whatever the case may be, you are going to be one of those persons who pop up offering, you know, a Jamaican color bracelet or whatever the case may be. So someone can say, all right, I like this one. How much does it cost? Let me click the website or click the pin to find out. And once they click that pin, it takes them straight to your website or wherever you put the link to send them to, right? And from there is really just giving them a good experience to buying whatever it is they want to buy okay okay so as i said i just put back pin on the, um, pinterest on the screen because one thing i want the people to see i want them to kind of see what the interface is they kind of see them kind of see it a little bit you know what i mean halfway type of vibes based on the um the layout setup we have but i kind of right. want the people to kind of experience the the, the pinterest layout and why if you notice the images that are posted on pinterest are very attractive as um kerry must say you know what i mean you have to have attractive stuff so like me i pass over this dual monitor setup one vertical one horizontal they go click on it and like yo look at him of them 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 lighting in the background and look at the table nice look at it look at it clean 
So right now, exactly. you see something like this, your interest peak, and then you you basically uh, have a look on it. And you are saying that that is how you should create your pins. You should create your pins with basically attraction in mind. You know what I mean? And so the person I show them set up from multiple different um, angles here. The one that look nice. You see one next setup here will look nice again. So all of these things are coming up in my Pinterest feed because I just say when I sign up for Pinterest, I put in um, um what you're interested. Yeah, what I'm interested in a computer and them stuff there. Computers and exactly. Yeah. So most times when a person sign up for pins, if they're interested in that jewelry as um Kareem said earlier, they would basically put that in it. So if you have jewelry as one of your things them that you have been pinning, most likely depends on how. Bro, one question I have to ask you, Karim. I'm going to ask you this question. In terms right. of popularity or viral pins, because I'm going to talk about that when you did the pan, um, Kalila show. When you talk about mm -hmm. virality of pins, how does a viral pin help one to make their pin, so to speak, seen by more people? Because we know on Instagram, when somebody goes something go viral, everybody starts to see it. It's almost like they get a certain... Um, Again, certain number of likes yes, and comments likes and certain amount of people who touch it and stuff like that so is that the same on pinterest when you have um, a viral moment all right so viral moment on pinterest really boils down to the pin design the seo and now finally the strategy because anybody can go viral on pinterest right Anybody, regardless of the you size need, of your account. You viral. You just, your pin exactly. is nice and people just are like it, like it, like it. So here's a simple strategy now. You create a stunning um, pin will just look good, right? And you make sure that it optimizes so that anybody who is searching for whatever you, know, you, know, you are providing, they can find it. And then... Once you do that, what you're going to do is pin it to one of your boards, and then you're going to find a group board, which is basically like a WhatsApp group or a, a Facebook group. So it's just a bunch of people coming together, right? And when you pin it to their group board, right, you are basically showing it to all of their followers. So let's say the group board have 100,000 followers. Hold on, 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 hold on. Chat about that because that strategy the way you just talked about is dangerous. D dangerous. Yeah, it's, it's a simple strategy, you know. Chat about that. Right? So you're telling me, all right, let me switch, let me switch um, and put on about the pin on the board. You're telling me that this pin that I'm looking at right now on my um, 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 Pinterest, this person now can put this pin in our group board so this board that i'm looking at right now with all of these computers is possibly considered as a group board right what well let me put it this way everything there that you are seeing yeah with the most popular pins which means that each one of those are viral oh okay and then and then because they're viral there's a very high possibility because as we say, it's a simple strategy. So it's a very high possibility that each of those pins were sent to a group board. Okay, okay, okay. So this one me I look for right now is basically the top pin. So these are the pins that people are click on and that push you up to the top, right? Exactly. Oh, right. Okay, okay. Look at this setup, man. Dream them. Carry a dream this for me, you know. I might think this one, you know what I mean? And that is what the Pinterest. That is what they want to see because when you see that now, your interest peak, as you say, and the next step is, what if I can actually buy this buy at an affordable price? Yeah. Right? And that is how you as an entrepreneur who is pushing this stuff to the, the pinner, right? The, the customer who is searching Pinterest. Because mm. the truth is, you know, over 70% of the persons who use Pinterest literally use it to shop. Wow. So whether it is a case where they shop directly in Pinterest or they're looking for stuff they're interested in to buy at a later date or they just see something they like 
and just decide to buy over 70 percent of them buy from inside pinterest wow 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 so so okay, even so if when you hear from it um kareem right now is that if you have anything for sale it's pinterest and even go if you have exactly for sale it's pinterest and even go because people are going to pinterest to look for services look for um things to buy as opposed right. to instagram where people just did a look the thing is you know instagram is a place for brands right so you want to establish yourself as a reputable brand you want to build your name you want to you know garner a certain level of influence um you know instagram is the place to go because if somebody says this company have a hundred thousand followers on instagram and then verified that says a lot about the company already you know most people don't even need to hear nothing else make me go check out what they have to offer that's it that's automatically what pop up in their head but when it comes to pinterest now i could have zero followers i just start and i you know create my content push it out there and the next thing i know i have 50 100 sales just because my strategy was right i was positioning myself in front of the customers so they could buy whatever it is that i had to offer so you have persons who they use pinterest solely for blog traffic right and a lot of bloggers tend to do that because they realize that they can get hundreds of thousands of views from pinterest and you know if you're a blogger if you're talking about a hundred thousand views you're looking at at least probably a thousand dollars us depending on you know who is the person running your ads whether it's media vine or adsense or whatever the case may be right so it stretches from those persons who are bloggers who you know really just write about anything and you go read it and just because them have ads you know, they make money to persons who Right. Yeah, 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 and it so stretches so from there. So once a person go on, you basically can make some money. So as I said, it stretches from there to the, the high part of the horizon where you can buy fine art on Pinterest. And we're talking about some of the expensive stuff now. Mm. So fine art, wedding dresses, and yeah, even yeah, yeah. cards. Wow. So you can buy used cards from Pinterest? Not just used cars, we are talking about brand new cars. Wow. Because Toyota actually saw, I when you say Toyota now, we're talking about the big company, not Toyota Jamaica, right? They saw the power of Pinterest, and I think it was in 2015 or 2017, somewhere in that range. And they decided to, you know, partner with Pinterest on an ad campaign then. And that significantly boosts their sales of the specific car that they were promoting. So if you are selling cars, you can sell it through Pinterest. If you are selling the smallest item, an earring, right? You can use Pinterest. And we're not talking just locally because I wouldn't say a lot of local persons buy from Pinterest and stuff, but internationally as well. So if you think that you are ready to, you know, take your business to an international scale, Pinterest is the very first place you need to seek that traffic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, when I hear from you, um, overall, um, Kareem is that. If you're trying to, as I say, if you're trying to garner a whole heap of traffic, you know, there's necessarily one people have to look on your image or your post on Instagram and I scroll past it. But you want to put your product in front of buyers, in front of potential right. buyers, so to speak. People are looking to purchase stuff, whether it be services, whether it be items, whatever the case may be. These people are looking for it. Pinterest is the way to go. Exactly. And... To, to even, you know, stretch a bit further with it. I don't know if you know about this website called Fiverr. 
Yes, I know about Fiverr. Weird. Yeah, so freelancers, you know, have them gigs there and you, know, you can buy whatever it is they have to sell. Here is a simple strategy and I'm giving out this one for free. Create a Pinterest account and all of those Fiverr gigs that you have, create five pins for each of them and upload them to Pinterest. Say that again. So persons who you, are look, you you are saying that you are you are on Fiverr as a person who are looking for persons to do work. Are you? No, on you are on Fiverr as a freelancer. Okay. So, so you are the one who on does Fiverr. the work. Fiverr. Right. And and you, let's say you just start then, yeah. because it's the hardest thing to get your first set of clients when you just start. Okay. Right. Can so, you reputation? Nobody will trust it yet. <laughs> exactly. So you can use Pinterest as a place to just promote the work that you are going to do for them, promote the work that you do, promote your Fiverr gigs, and enhance the traffic that is going to your, your Fiverr profile. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. As I say, oh, you, have all, you have all the strategies, them. As, as I say, marketing... Um, with Kareem, um, because when I hear from you is that you use a pin master, but you seem to be using this um, the way of pins and the way of how to use pins with a with a, with a marketing um, um, twist to it. So you're talking about a lot of a lot of ways how to use Pinterest to market not only yourself but your product or your services. And that and that may basically. I, I hear you I say from, from where I have a conversation and Pinterest Pinterest seems to be such a powerful place once you understand as I said the SEO you understand how to use the platform you understand say you know just post one thing and expect it to be, you know drive up your traffic yeah. it have to be attractive as I said let me switch back over to the pins then and show you when you look upon this look upon the man the man set up a nice little orange and white thing up at the top you have the nice monitor and you have him nice dual screen set up with him computer over here, and him have him gaming uh, um, chair. Him have him nice white keyboard. Him have the orange light behind him. So when you go up on Pinterest, so to speak, and you say, oh yeah, search for computer and them stuff there. Bam! Them things that jump up in front of you. You know what I mean? Look when I set up here. This bad. The man basically have a, a, have a pet board with him look a different, different thing. Them panic. Him have him nice look mic come across and do a clean gray and yellow um, thing. Um, the money, yeah? exactly. I don't know what him have, but film computer seem like it has come out. Uh, or it's like, oh, it's an elevator I'm having a house. So what this is basically is an indoor elevator. Look at that. So it's a lift. Them call them lift, but an inside your house. This. You know, if you have somebody where not necessarily I do too much walking, but these because me have technology in my opinion and them stuff there, it tend to show me these things. And when me hear from um um Kareem. Me did see Pinterest as a place where you just search for you just search and you find some cool pictures. You can get inspiration from it and stuff like that. But when I hear, hear, uh, understand from him that these people are there, so I put up these pins. Them now just put it up for inspiration. Them I put it yeah. up so them can generate a buzz one around them pin. And if you leave the pin and go to basically a website or whatever link them put on it, you possibly can end up in a website where you buy some stuff. And that is that is amazing in terms of how oh, one use use pins to basically one drive traffic, drive traffic to blogs, drive traffic to um you know what I mean products where people want people buy. Just drive traffic overall, you know what I mean. And that is so amazing. Look on a setup here, the triple screen setup here. You might have a big TV above. You might have a dual screen, one to the middle, one to the side. You might have again in gaming chair. I want them chair me I get you know for sure. So you want them chair for sure. I mean, gaming chairs mm -hmm. and everything. And one of the next things when we, when we really want to talk to you about um, Kareem is let's talk about Patreon a little bit. Because I realize you have a Patreon account, you have your different tiers, them. And why you choose to go Patreon but also still utilize pins, still utilize um, Instagram to, to, to showcase your, your, your talent or what you do as a marketer. Why you use all these platforms when you still have patreon where you use a certain way explain that to me all right so the way the patreon works really is 
I teach every single thing about not just Pinterest, but how to get your business seen online and seen in general, right? So building the right business model and applying it to Pinterest, because if you don't have the right business model, then your Pinterest strategy don't make sense, right? Okay. So that's really what Patreon is for. If you think that, okay, you have a business idea and you want to, you know, move from the ideation phase to start making money and making that business or that brand into something successful, then the Patreon is the place to be, right? I use Instagram just simply teach people about the power of Pinterest and how to actually use it effectively, right? Because as a, I wouldn't really call myself a graphic designer, but as a designer then, I realized that, okay, all these persons in the community are giving out free knowledge, right? And most of them are giving free knowledge about how to grow your Instagram and you know, how to be successful in business or some area. But I've never seen anybody giving out free knowledge about Pinterest. So I am here learning from those persons who give out the knowledge about Instagram, persons like Dave Talas and Christos Nikas, right? And I'm learning from them how to grow my Instagram because the truth is, you should never use one platform, right? That's just yeah, fact. Really that. you, have to, you, have so, to, you have to diversify. Exactly. So I'm learning how to grow my Instagram while teaching persons how to grow their Pinterest, how to use Pinterest to make money. Okay. So, okay. and I believe, and this is literally my motto, that success is not defined by the number of persons are better yet how successful you are, right? Success is defined by how successful other people become around you. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say, say that again, Kareem. So, more, so more success. The, more a person who, who not necessarily understand how you put it, because what I'm going to do, I'm break it down after. Say it again so the people don't understand what you're saying. All right, so success is not defined by how well you do, right? It's not defined by how much money you make or, you know, how much people you reach. Success is really defined by how people become successful around you, how much people make money and learn and, and grow just because they are in contact and connection with you. That is true success. Okay, so when I, when I hear you say, um, Kareem, is that how people tend to measure success most times is that they might measure success based on the amount of money where you make. But where you are saying, where you are saying based on how you see success is, it's not about how much money you make, it's about how many people you make, make money. So it's about right. how many people because you guess what? make money. Not the amount of money where you make. Because guess what? Let's say you have a group of 10 friends, right? And you are the only one that becomes successful. The truth is, you know, you cannot really be successful because if they are your friends, you are going to want to help them. And in helping them, chances are you have to broke your pocket. Yeah, 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 yeah. And but time. if if exactly if you grow them and all of them become successful together or better yet all of them become successful and you don't even achieve success yet just by virtue of the fact that these are your true friends at them I'm going to bring you in you know, and you rise to an even greater level okay okay so when me when me when me I hear you say you know, is 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 in other words, when you gain knowledge, you need to share it with your with your surroundings, share it with um people around you, so you can elevate them 
also and get them to a place of whether them understand or get them to a place of you know what I mean success whatever them can right. success is and you get them to a place of success and regardless if your success not happen yet you still need to make sure so the people them around you basically have whatever knowledge you have to share so them can become in, um, um, successful in, in, a, in a way big 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 move big move and highly believe in that say once you're successful and you have people around you unless you see say, them people are not interested in anything i remember you have that you know Karim. you have some people where no matter how you yeah, have them, definitely you have, uh, 500 years you have them around you and you give them opportunity show them things but them them not have the interest so once you find people who have the interest in a becoming successful and have the interest in bettering themselves and you have some information that can better them, you should be willing to share this information. 100 percent Mad move, bro. Yeah. Mad move, mad move, mad move. Um, I want you to dive a little bit deeper in a Pinterest in terms of in a no in a in a Patreon in terms of like how it work it's coming as i said earlier you, you you basically teach a person how to set up them page um, um pinterest on patreon so that is the yeah. reason why you have the tears them the tears them would have involved if you are tier one you just see what i go on on patreon but when you are tier two you kind of get a more in-depth understanding exactly. of how you go about setting up a business i may use my business for instance so what, we, what we're doing right here basically this production going through instagram is what my business is and i do live production so i'm a live producer i'm a virtual producer so i produce shows for persons so you are telling me that because i'm a virtual producer and this is a product that i have to sell and if i become a patreon of you you would basically show me now how to this how to use this product inside a patreon attract persons who are looking looking for a live stream who are looking to understand live stream so i can use patreon to find the persons who are searching for a live stream persons who are trying to understand live stream persons who are looking for live stream services find out about different platform and these people can find me now and say oh that you is a live producer you know make 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 me make him help reproduce a show and me can find work by by doing that that is what you are telling me well don't mix up patreon and pinterest right no, so no, 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 i no, teach no. you how to no man a, p- a pinterest me i talk about you know, because i say when me company your patreon as a as a as a when me join your patreon as a patreon you teach me how to use the seos the 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 the, the, the how to design my pins them for um pinterest to drive traffic to my business. exactly exactly so you get all of that information at tier one right so as a person who you know would understand and have experience in the whole business world you wouldn't necessarily need a tier two or a tier three but let's say you're talking about somebody who they have no business knowledge whatsoever, right? And they want not just to grow the business, but learn about Pinterest and grow both of them and build the entire fishnet, right? Because it's the fishnet you're going to use to catch fish. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so in, in that case, then you're up for tier two, where I'm not just teaching you Pinterest, but you get the coaching calls, you get the one-on-one sessions. You get the live Zoom sessions. I'm actually doing one. I think it's this Monday, June 8th. So you get all of that free for the entire month, right? Where I am walking you through the process. And sometimes I'm actually showing you behind the scenes where, yes, I can teach you how to do it, but I'm going to show you how I do it for myself. Okay, okay. Right? Oh, so that's what you get at tier oh, you two. get your traffic up, or oh, you get your pins them to become uh, viral pins, so a person can right. get a better understanding. It's more, you're not explaining to them. It's a show and tell thing. So you're not explaining right. to them. This is where you do this, do this, do this. Do this. You say, yo, all right, then. You wanna? Let me show you how I'm do it. Let me show you the design. Let me show you the dimension you're supposed to use. Let me show you, say, yo, you have to use this size font. 
to make sure so them see the information right away as them go on upon it. You have to use this design. Uh, the, the colors are important because colors have a psychology, it have a mood. You know what I mean? It jump out at people based on the colors where you use. And you using your designer skills, as I said, graphic designer or designer, to incorporate all of these things into your pins. So your pins can be one attractive, two it have the SEO lock behind it. So it can reach your people, they might jump up when people search for it. And three, it have a link so people can go to somewhere to whether they want to do a purchase or you read your blog or whatever the case may be. So in case of my business, me with a designer pin we are talk about live stream, me with a basically put in a live stream SEOs, so all the codes them there. I mean I also send them to my Instagram or website or whatever the case may be, so them can either purchase exactly. a, 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 a live production or them get a um a, a live streaming guide or whatever the case may be. So me can convince the guys and say, yo, me understand about live stream, let me do your live production. That's wow. exactly yes. Wow, 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 wow. But definitely I forgot um link you on try and understand Pinterest more because right now as it relates to even my product the same thing where i say um 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 on instagram i am trying to get it to more international people and you are telling me what i am hearing from you is that once you want to get it to international people pinterest is the way my name you have other ways but pinterest is one of the ways where you can get it to yeah people. definitely fast definitely and it's not just fast it's free oh right fine, because fine. anybody can sign up anybody can sign up for Pinterest so it's fast and free right oh, wow. just just last month I had someone reach out to me from I don't even remember which country I think it was Russia right and they were saying they found you know, my content and they were, you know, they started to really invest in the whole Pinterest idea and they created the account and they sent in me screenshots and everything, you know, from account creation to the end of the month, which was, it was actually May, May June, yeah. So in that time span, just 31 days, right? Because the month not even did finish it, so it was about May 29, right? They have, or they already got over a hundred thousand people seeing all the content that they were producing wow. in just that one month. Big. You can't, you have to advertise my Instagram, forget that. You have to advertise exactly. Me. But I even trust Instagram advertisement because it don't feel real. When they advertise by Instagram, the people them just like the stuff and then they seem like them engage with it at all. It's like almost like it's a, like Instagram of them robots just a use people profile for like like it in. <laughs> like what type of content you put there? You know, it's almost like robots are like it in. So what it what, what, what it seems the algorithm do is when when they advertise. I mean, I said this is what it do, you know, but I said what it seems like it do. It seems like right. it just push it out to the world or the demographic way, way or something like that. And Instagram say, oh, all right, then them 500 people are from the demographic here. Dem demographic here. Me could make 40 of them like it or, or 100 of them like it. And then me could make 50 people actually see it. And them actually can go press like on it or not. Because if the advertisement did work in such a way that for Instagram that it just advertise and it go out to the demographic. There could be an advertisement where they have no likes if nobody no click on it. But I'm sure right now if you if you if you if you advertise feces for the lack of a better word per Instagram through them ads and them approve it because they go through approval process. Yeah. It's gonna get likes. Of you course. Know I mean? You know what I mean? So of it just course. seems as if it's a it's a robot kind of system that do the likes quite tight because you now see the engagement as as we say so what you are telling me is that this man have a one to um ten thousand or hundred thousand hundred thousand is it yeah man one hundred thousand one hundred thousand worth of engagement panning pins in a, a month 
and you tell me say with that no, lead, one thing. with that lead 100,000 lead you must can convert at least 2 or 5 percent of that lead into basically and you know whatever the case i is. like to use one person why you like use one person explain i like because you have a hundred people mm. getting just one out of a hundred depending on the product that you're selling and the price and all of that is good you have a thousand people getting 10 at a hundred dollars for the product that is perfect mm. right so you don't need really to try to grab the entire world one time yeah, yeah, yeah. just try to go for the one person and ensure that your product is good enough so that at the end of the day the word of mouth that referral marketing kicks in yeah. where because i bought it and it really spoke to me i can tell somebody else who i know is interested and they can go buy it too okay so and and as we hear said a while ago that that just reflect back with me in terms of even as i said this product that you're seeing right now and stuff like that and we realize that since we started because people understand the value of it is a whole heap of referral may i get so once we do it for one person that person oh you know you can link shango for do this and you can link shango for do that you can link shango for do that so a whole heap of people just start reach out to me for do things for them you know what i mean i say oh this person give me a number for do it or this person rate it so you're saying that on pinterest when people go start like your pin and when people refer you in a in a in a in a in a, in a way to other people for buy stuff from you that is the best form of basically advertisement because that person exactly. technically convinced the other person say yo for them thing good you can try it out right amazing, and amazing, that's brother. really how pinterest works down amazing. down to the the core that is really what pinterest is about sharing ideas that you love and that you want to try for yourself wow but what persons really keep missing is while you as the pinner the user is sharing those ideas and saving those ideas right there is somebody on the other side the entrepreneur who has to create that inspiration for you okay okay right okay. so as the business person as the entrepreneur the freelancer whoever you are the best thing for you to do is focus on inspiring others which goes straight back to my motto right give in such a way where others become successful because the truth in and <laughs> here's another thing that we didn't even touch on okay if you want to grow on pinterest the fastest way to to really grow is to share content that you find on the platform so when yes. you save it so when you save it to your own boards and all of that you basically giving other persons a bigger reach and in giving them a bigger reach you are getting some of that reach for yourself okay okay mad mad vibe so you're saying that sharing on pinterest is very important because it helps you to reach more people yourself it's something like exactly. that's how linkedin work too linkedin kind of have that the more you share and people are connected with you and stuff like that brother i mean i know like explaining pinterest and trying to go through pinterest and make people understand pinterest is 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 uh is it's it hard to fit in an hour it's hard to fit in an hour and we're already 55 minutes um basically live and i'm glad i bring you on the program because i wanted um my audience who are creative so to speak um to understand that you have other platforms that you can use to to garner um traffic um garner respect you can even use a pinterest for follow get followers by instagram because you just need to appoint them where you want to appoint them all right so when i hear basically um from kareem is that once you understand how to use pinterest 
you, you basically can make money from Pinterest. You can become successful in terms of the amount of Instagram followers you want. You can create a business out of Pinterest. You can do a drop shipping business in a Pinterest. Just a sh sh 10 people over there stuff buy things where other people are making them things. There. And you can do so much things inside a Pinterest as an entrepreneur and as a creative. So it's just to understand the platform and reach out to a man like Kareem who already work out the platform and understand it and say yo can i give me some insight and him always like insight on him um instagram either way so if you follow him on instagram and follow the, the, the stuff that we must say just like the brother from russia you possibly can have a hundred thousand people that look for your thing just the same so as me say brother respect respect for um coming out and and, and give me a strength um for the show because i want one of the thing about this show as i know it name um, creative always be where creatives yeah. share knowledge for me it's all about sharing of the knowledge and I wanted my audience the, the creatives them who watch this show to get this knowledge about Pinterest so them themselves can use the knowledge with them five account whatever it is to put them work out and get people a look on them work and also get work from that work you know what I mean so Blessings, blessings. As I said, we almost get kicked off of Instagram, so you know, blessings for company show and much respect, much respect um, to Kareem for company show because we did kind of get caught up with it, we didn't show the man's name up um, on the screen. But we are listening and I try to understand as much as we can in terms of Pinterest, you know what I mean? And it's a good, it's a good look, it's a good look as far as I see it. I see if I still can show your name on the screen, but it now work. Um, and much respect brother for coming out so I gotta run the interest well Instagram just kick away after I reach the time limit um, but I gotta just end the show because I'm normally record it and I gotta upload it by Instagram um, upload it by YouTube afterwards so I gotta just run the outro and do um, the the, um, the the quote I normally do so bless up again brother and guidance in the journey and as I said I gotta link you we we'll find out more about the Pinterest because we have a product where we believe say yo if it reach in our whole for international people and and them see the product and them are gonna like the product and them are gonna possibly want to use the product so we definitely gonna link you and try even jump on and pin um Patreon and see what we can learn I just link you direct and see what we can learn and how we can optimize my Pinterest for kind of reach the people them want want for reach so blessings and respect again brother. So I'm gonna just run the outro and just do this outro yeah, and call it off. All right, guys, you know, we never leave the show without doing an outro. And this week, the outro is everything you imagine is real come let me say that again pablo picasso everything you imagine is real more i say it once more because me now me, me not know if the people don't understand what pablo picasso mean everything you imagine is real every creation that we know of every car every building somebody had to imagine it every movie that we know that creates that every 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 potter is real because um jk rowling imagined it you know what i mean the yeezy is real because kanye west imagined it so what we want to understand is that your imagination is such a place that once you imagine things you can create a lifestyle you can create a brand you can create a product around anything that you imagine because it's real you just need to imagine it your dreams are real you just basically as I say you have to just imagine this product that you see online right now is a, is a product from imagination. Somebody had to start um, live streaming, live production, and share the knowledge, 
and make it real everything you imagine is real by pablo picasso that was another episode of creative always be